We are so happy to have you here today as we kick off our first ever virtual summer teacher training. You all have decided to act, to stand up for this work for our students and for our families. You have joined us to create a fundamentally different reality for all kids. You have been working hard, not only to learn about what it means to step inside of a classroom, but you've also been learning about a history, a history and a plight for people in this country that was not given, it had to be demanded. Teaching students is a complex act of leadership on the easiest of days. And right now, our days are not easy. And that might be causing a seed of worry to be taking root in you. You're entering this moment amid a global pandemic and on the heels of nationwide protests. And by choosing to show up, you're choosing courage when it's needed the most. Through time with my community and the bravery I've witnessed, I have learned the true value of a classroom, an environment where people, all people, can build the foundation for lifelong growth. I've had so many students come to me and say, you know, I'm not good at this thing, but I'm good at this thing. I really want to do this. As long as we're listening to the students and telling people who need to know and who can get them somewhere what they need to do, that's a really great first step is to listen and to advocate in a way that you're not speaking over anyone, but doing what's doing is that. You can't teach what you don't know and understand yourself. So mm -hmm. if you want to be to teach these things well, you have to go on your own process of education and discovery and read widely and read broadly. These kids already see what's happening in the world. They, you know, they, they have an understanding that there is something that exists, that racial inequality is a thing. We stand in this pivotal moment of history. I feel that it's important that we bring our history into the room, that we speak to the woman who was at the front of the line so that we could be where we are today. And I believe at this moment in history that we have to centralize the needs of those who are most marginalized. There's a real opportunity to culturally um, contextualize every subject. And we have more resources now than we have ever had. We're all coming into it from where we are. You don't have to be bell hooks. You don't have to be somebody who has been doing this work for longer than then you have, that's okay. We're not keeping score to start. It's about your interest and your humility and your effort. I committed to Teach for America because I truly believe in the power of public education. And every single person who I've met here shares that same passion and challenges me to put forth my best self in pursuit of that passion every single day. Individually, we are all one small piece to a puzzle and we need to continue to work together as a collective so we will be able to provide a quality and meaningful education to thousands who need it. This will not be easy. For many of us, this will be the most challenging thing we've ever done and will ever do. But it's also some of the most important work that anyone could do. The last four weeks have been a test of not only our perseverance, but also our commitment to this month needed work during this time. We are strong, we are resilient, and we are the change agents that we need in this moment in time, a time in history. God speak to my 2020 fellow core members. I was able to be developed as a leader online. Even if we were at a regular institute face-to-face, -face, the, the development that I got and the authentic relationships that I built, it, it would have been the same. I felt like I was right there with core members, even though we were apart. My fellow 2020 core members inspire me. Let's continue the hard work and I can't wait to see the amazing things we get done in the next two years and beyond.